morning. It's, what day is it today? Thursday. It's Thursday the 15th of February and um, the sun's come out. It's been so wet these last few days and it's going to be really wet overnight and we're going away for a few days. So I've come into the greenhouse to look at my broad beans. Mm -hmm. And I think they need to go out. The soil's quite... The soil's quite wet, but because we're going away on holiday, um, we're going away to Gloucester for the weekend, and then we're back very briefly on Sunday and going away again on Monday. I've got to get these in the ground, I think, and the peas as well. Um, look, the roots are all coming through there. So. I've got to get cracking while the sun's shining. See you over the allotments. Right, I've loaded up the wheelbarrow. I'm going to walk over. Alistair's put some bits and pieces in the car that he's taking over for me. And um, I'll go and pop those in. It was a sad day yesterday. We lost one of our girls. Uh, we saw her in the morning, she'd gone into the uh, coop and I thought she'd just gone broody. And then later on in the afternoon, we checked on her and she'd sadly died. Very odd. Anyway, keeping a close eye on these two who seem to be absolutely fine and enjoying the sunshine. See you later, girls. Right, we've arrived. And I'm going to put this lot in that new bed there, starting at this end. I can't get over how mild it is. I think they said it was going to be about 12 degrees today. It's incredible. That's way too warm, really. It's gorgeous to be working outside here, anyway. Just cover that over with fleece now. Looking good. I hope it looks so good when we get back from holiday. I was trying to get the beans in so quick, I forgot I had two different varieties. So I've gone and mixed them up. I have no idea which one is which. One's definitely the Sutton, the Dwarf, and the other one is a Query. And the peas are meatier. There we are. Everything put to bed for just over a week. I've got one last job before we go away. These were on the windowsill. It's the perennial cabbage slips that um, I put in just in water 
oh, about two weeks ago now, I think it was. And uh, they've all got roots on. Um, you see, they've all got roots on, so I'm just going to pot those up and put them in the greenhouse. Job done. See you when we get back off our holidays. We're off to um, Pembrokeshire. We're taking our camper van down and um, we've got, uh, we're booked in on a, a pub, a pub site near Haverford West. We're really looking forward to going away, but also looking forward to coming back because it'll be uh, nearly March and then we'll be into the main sowing season. Fantastic. See you in about uh, 10 days time. Bye.
good morning. It's uh, Tuesday the 27th of February and I'm just about to walk the dogs. We're back from our holidays. Um, I've been over and inspected the peas and beans that I planted before we went away and um, everything's looking all right. There's a little bit of uh, slug damage I think on the beans but they'll survive no problem at all. So while I'm down the woods walking the dogs, I'm going to cut a few uh, branches for pea support. In a couple of months time, this is going to be a sea of bluebells. It is absolutely stunning. Dogs enjoying a drink on their walk. first suitable branch. Soon be time for picking wild garlic again. got a few here. I'm going to uh, hunt around for a few more. I'm over the allotment. There's been a little bit of slug damage to a few leaves, but they'll survive. Looking good. The new plot manager has been uh, working out what plot belongs to who and giving them numbers. And I am now plot number seven. These are looking good. While I'm over here, I'm going to pick some Cavallo Nero flower sprouts. going to be delicious for tea tonight. Um, don't know what we're going to have with that. Probably some mushrooms, pasta, uh, sun-dried tomato, um, what else? Onion, garlic. Yeah, yummy. Just going around checking 
to see how things are now we're back from holiday and uh, the onions are looking good and maybe a little bit of water leeks are looking good there's the spare onions and the um, per per perpetual cabbage while we were on holiday um, in Pembrokeshire um, we went to uh, what was it called New Gale and the only place open, in fact there's nothing there, there's, there's only one shop and it happened to be the most amazing Aladdin's Cave of a hardware shop. So we had a look around and look what I found. It's a, a small, what do they call it? I don't know what they call it. Anyway, it's a small garden fork. It's just miniature, it's just perfect. I mean, I don't do a lot of digging, so, uh, and that's more my size, not too heavy. And then we've had the most fantastic six days down in Pembrokeshire. Weather wasn't brilliant, but um, we didn't get too wet on our walks, and uh, we just had a nice rest. And I'm keen and ready to get on with the garden now, uh, if, the, if the rain holds off. <laughs> Just one other thing I have to report on is the seeds that I put in just before we went away and nothing has happened but then uh, I turned all the heating on there in the house because we were going to be away so it's probably just a bit too cold for them. So maybe now we're home and the heating's back on we'll see some action here on the celeriac and spring onion. It's now afternoon of February the 27th and I'm walking around this lovely location and it's a little bit off the beaten path um, and it's, it's a bit like um, Puzzle Wood if you've ever heard of Puzzle Wood outside Colford it's uh, a collection of ancient um, mine workings they were started in the Roman area around here and uh, that rock that you can see right through there is called Devil's Chimney. Anyway, I got the camera out again because uh, I've spotted some wild garlic. I saw some in the woods where I was this morning and uh, I've decided to pick a little bit of wild garlic just to put in the dinner tonight along with the uh, sprouting Cavallo Nero. This is so magical in these woods. Absolutely beautiful. And, uh, it's off the main tourist trail so you kind of uh, don't see many people here at all. You just uh, you just got to know it's there. Look at that. You can't see the depth um, with the camera, I think the camera tends to flatten things out a bit. Right, that's the rock there called Devil's Chimney. I always think it looks a bit like, a bit shaped like a dog. <laughs> right, so to get back to wild garlic, I'll just show you something that you have to be a bit careful of. This is wild garlic here. The smell is absolutely divine, of course, and around about the same time you get these leaves here, which is Lords and Ladies, or Cuckoo Pint, very poisonous. And can you see the difference? The Cuckoo Pint has these very distinct um, points either side of where the stem comes out. And the garlic doesn't, it's longer and narrow, narrower. Um, and of course, the wild garlic smells of garlic. I haven't picked too much, just enough for the one meal. Uh, because we're at the beginning of um, wild garlic season, there's going to be plenty around for quite some time yet. And uh, I have frozen it in the past. I made pesto, but I find I've still got some in the freezer from last year, so we tend to get a bit fed up with it. 
Oh, and there's other things to eat. So um, this year I'm just going to take it while it's in season and then uh, that should be enough. Okay, so here's all the ingredients for tonight's meal. Cavolo Nero, carrot I found in the fridge, onions, potatoes, uh, wild garlic, mushrooms that badly needed using up. Um, I've got some Thai, Thai herb seasoning. That's uh, a little bit pe peppery, but nice. Lemon juice, oil, salt, and um, oh, soy sauce as well. That's everything prepared. I'm going to fry those up together. Excuse the messy sink. Um, salvaged what I could of the mushrooms, chopped up the garlic, and I've grated some cheese to put on top of chunky wedges. That's the soy sauce, lemon juice, spices, and salt gone in. Wild garlic going in. And all the greens on top. And when that's wilted down a bit, I'll just um, stir it around and check for taste. Chunky cheesy wedges with stir fried um, stir fried vegetables in a garlic and Thai sauce. <laughs>